Okay. Check, check, check. Can you guys hear me all right? Maybe that did it. Let me know if you can hear me. Check. All right. Great. We're live. <laughs> we did it. It's so, it's so exciting to be able to utilize technology in the 21st century to be able to share ideas with the world. And uh, it's so great because, you know, this is actually the first youth time webinar and I'm excited to be able to present it to you guys and I, I really am grateful to uh, youth time for giving me the opportunity to share my message and share my ideas with you because you know one thing that I am really passionate about is sharing ideas and helping people tap into their mind to discover new ideas and create a strategy for your future and that's what we're going to be talking about Today, my name is Jonathan Fritzler. I am the founder of two organizations. One is called Education Energy, and the other is called The Mind Lab. And you know what I've realized is that both of these organizations are really all about helping people get clear on their future vision and then creating a strategy for how to get there. And I think that the reason I created this, these both of these organizations, is because this is something that I'm, you know, that I wish I would have had when I was younger, you know, um, and uh, and a lot of people think I'm young. I'm actually 30. I've got a lot of experience. I've been doing this stuff for over 10 years now. Um, actually, I think my first business was when I was 14 years old. So it doesn't matter if you're if you're you know a teenager or if you're an adult who is. Um, you know, thinking about starting a new business or changing your career, the bottom line is that the stuff that we're going to talk about today is going to have a profound impact in your life if you allow it. And so I encourage you to, uh, you know, just be here 100% today. And um, I'm excited to uh, share my, my story and also uh, share a little bit of uh, some, some tools for you to practically apply to your life. And so, um, I'll first start off by saying if you uh, have got the uh, link to the, the Dropbox, you can actually download the workbook for today and you can follow along and actually fill out the pages of the workbook. However, if you don't have a printer right now, if that's not something that you can do, then don't worry. I'm going to actually put the workbook pages up on the screen and I'm going to allow you guys to um, you know, just follow along that way. And um, yeah, I hope that this is a, a really powerful experience for you. And um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch over to uh, my slideshow and I wanna share a, a little story with you guys. All right, I'm back. Hold on one second. I think that the uh, we got to build in the audio here. All right, built in. Sweet. All right, let's try this one more time. All right, let me know if you guys can hear me. It looks like my audio is good on my screen. Um, so basically, uh, the, the goal here is to just get really clear on your personal goals, and we want to start to get clear on your future. And we want to, you know, really overcome any barriers that are holding you back to doing, you know, to creating that ideal future vision. Because we want to have more confidence about our future and then also start to create a strategy. So this is really about looking forward into your life and getting really clear on what it is that you want to create. Some of the expectations, uh, first off is turn off your phone and close out of Facebook. Everyone in the world is on Facebook. I'm sure you are too. So I want to encourage you to just, 
you know, really give this 100%. Uh, you deserve it. Be your best self. Imagine what it would feel like to be your best self right now and try to hold that energy as we go through this webinar because the thing is we got to let go of in fear and embrace possibility because the reality is that we do not know what the future holds. The future is up to us to create it and so we can dream big and I really encourage you to do that, to think big and to you know really tap into new ideas today as we move into this experience. All right, so I wanna start off by talking a little bit about me. Um, the world is my office. My, my job, my dream job has always been to be what we call a digital nomad. This is someone who's able to, I'm, I'm able to work from my computer and um, travel around the world and be able to create opportunities and you know it's really about creating a win-win for 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 people and for organizations and and for communities and right now I'm, I'm here in the Netherlands and I'm helping uh, uh, about 40 students create strategies for their future with my organization education energy um, and uh, you know I love to surf this is a picture of me surfing in Hawaii and so that's that's a big part of my life is is being able to get in the water and connect with the ocean because I think Connecting uh, with nature is so important. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna see if I can go into uh, presentation mode, view, present. Awesome, all right. Um, and then, you know, these are my organizations that I, I shared with you earlier. This is the Mind Lab. Um, and then I've got these different books that I've published and currently I'm on the Activate Tour, which is a, a world tour to help to activate people to tap into their inner power and uh, discover new ideas and get clear on their future. So I want to start off by asking you one question. I want you to think about this. If, if you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? Now it says by the time you graduate and it's because I always share this with students and I'm sure a lot of you could be students but let's just say if you could change one thing in the world in the next four years if you're not a student um, what would that be? You know because four years is, is kind of like a it's, it's, it's kind of a rite of passage in, in education you know you go to high school for four years and then you become a senior and you graduate and then you go to university for four years and then you become a senior once again and you, and you graduate and so I want you to really just think about that for a minute if you could change one thing in the world what would it be? A lot of people think that you know, maybe we don't need to change anything in the world. However, I really think that each one of us has something unique to bring to this world because we are all on our own hero's journey. The book by Joseph Campbell, uh, The Hero with a Thousand Faces, Joseph Campbell talks about how each individual is on their own hero's journey and it's up to them to hear the call to adventure, the call to action, because what happens is that we're in, our, we're in our home or we're in our comfort zone, we're in our normal reality um, right now. And, and maybe you hear this call to adventure, to something greater. And, and when, you, when, when you hear that call, it's up to us to decide whether or not we're going to answer to that call. And when we do, when we finally decide to say yes to life and to possibilities, that's when a new adventure can happen and that's when we open ourselves up to start to have new visions for ourselves as leaders and, and being able to say, you know what, I, don't, I no longer want to live in my old reality, I want to create something new and I want to create something awesome. So that's what we're going to talk about. So it all starts with an idea and you know I'm going to come back to the screen here and um, I just want to ask you guys to make sure uh, that you can hear me all right and you can see the screen all right um, and uh, you know I, I want to start off by just talking about the fact that it, it all starts with an idea. Um, every invention that was ever created, every building that was ever built, um, every innovation in, in science and technology, it all started with an idea. And you know, I always love to refer to uh, the scientist Nikola Tesla. And Nikola Tesla was the scientist who invented, uh, he invented electricity, he discovered uh, how to harness electricity in, in, from different parts of the world, and he, he created the radio, he created uh, the uh, alternating current, he created x-rays uh, and remote controls. I mean, this guy was a genius. And I love this quote here, and it says, 
He, this is him talking about when he has an idea. He says, my method is different. I do not rush into actual work. When I get a new idea, I start at once building the idea in my mind, in my imagination, and make improvements and operate the device in my mind. When I have gone so far as to embody everything in my invention, every possible improvement I can think of, and when I see no fault anywhere, I put into concrete form the final product of my brain. Whew. Isn't that epic? <laughs> oh man, Nikola Tesla, I mean, this guy was a genius and, and he, was, he was, you know, living a hundred years ago. And so, so it just goes to show, it, it all starts with an idea. And I think that maybe you have, you know, a, a, a great idea that you want to see come to life maybe this summer, because this summer, if you're a student or if you are, you know, working at your job, the, the, we have the opportunity to create something at any point in our life. And, 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 and I think that sometimes we, we wait, you know, we wait to take action. We wait for someone to, you know, ask us to be a part of something. But today I want to encourage you to initiate and to take the take action today and so what I want to do is I want to share a little bit about how I was called to take action um, and it, it actually all started um, when I almost had a, I had a near-death experience so basically I was on my moped uh, in Hawaii and I got hit by a truck now as it says here in the bottom right hand corner this is a dr dramatic reenactment um, this picture was actually from uh, a TV show, if you've ever heard of the TV show Hawaii Five-0, I was on that show and they, they painted me for this shot, but I thought it was a good way for the, to demonstrate what happened. So basically I, I got in this accident and I, I did almost die. I had three bulging discs and a concussion. And um, during my recovery, I started to ask myself, you know, what is my purpose in life? And I, I started to really reflect on you know, do I want to continue to, you know, live in my old way of thinking, my old reality, or do I want to create something new? Because what I realized, you guys, is that there is so much destruction happening in our world right now of our environment. There's not enough water for every human. You know, we have people who are in so much need of support and, and, and it's people like you, people like me who need to come together to start to think how can we have a, a great impact in this world. And so that's what I started to ask myself after I got in this accident and I started to you know, explore how can I create a meaningful impact in the world and so I, I ended up creating uh, this organization um, called AMP and it was called the Aloha Music Project and so basically um, in this organization I started to think about how can I use my research that I was doing in school to have a meaningful impact and it, it's really about using your projects and your homework um, to do something meaningful in the community and so I started to explore that oh, now um, cool. so basically I started to ask myself how can I use my creativity um, and, and the creativity of other students to have a, an impact and we created this organization called AMP and so we, we hosted these different music and art events and um, basically what happened is we were able to have a really powerful impact in uh, the student community at the University of Hawaii we started um, hosting these events and artists were able to get a lot of exposure um, and by building this community of people, I was able to uh, actually raise funds to build a recording studio in Honolulu, Hawaii, in a million dollar recording studio. And, and, and it was because I heard this call to action to do something great in the world. And so I really want to, you know, just remind you guys that it's like sometimes people think that you know, you need to have an idea that's going to make a lot of money. But the reality is, is that as long as you follow your passion, great things are going to happen. So follow your bliss. That's a quote by Joseph Campbell. So then something amazing happened. Even more amazing is, is that I was able to create my own internship program at the University of Hawaii. And I started to bring together different students from different uh, majors and different studies. 
to address real issues that were important to us. And, and so now we had a team of 20 students every semester who were focusing their research projects on doing real meaningful work in the community. And so I started to help different students um, with their project ideas. Here's a group of seventh graders who were able to change out a thousand light bulbs. Um, Shauna Trevena, she was a, a student, a, a graduate student at the University of Hawaii. And uh, her research was able to help save the Department of Education and the Department of Defense with, save them $8 million in energy savings. Um, and I was also a part of her team, so that, that was really fun. Um, Liana, she was a, a student studying natural resource and environmental management. She used a project to actually address uh, an invasive species that was um, ruining or destroying these palm trees. And she was able to you know, turn this idea into a research grant. And so, um, and then you've got you've got Glenn here, and Glenn was able to actually um, record an album, and you know him recording an album in our recording studio led him to actually working with some of the top pop stars in the world with his production company. So, the bottom line is that there are endless possibilities, and um, you know I want to talk a little bit now about your ideas and really turn the, the attention to you and um, and this is the time that I want you to get out uh, that workbook and um, actually what you can do if you want is you can go to Facebook and um, and uh, you can actually check out the Facebook go to Facebook so we got some visitors there <coughs> and let's see I'm going to share my screen where you can actually find uh, the information here Youth Time Movement, and please go to Youth Time Movement and like the page, and then as you can see here, um, there is a link to the Dropbox, and so on the Youth Time Movement uh, page, you can go to Dropbox and log in, I'm already logged in here, and then there's uh, two documents here, you can just click on the document right there, and it will open it up for you, and so we're going to be talking using the uh, goal generator and we're going to be writing some goals and that's going to be the first thing that I want you to uh, turn to now of course if you don't have a uh, if you don't have the, the capabilities of printing right now you can just go ahead and uh, write it down on a piece of paper and I'll help you guys follow along with that cool are you ready um, I'm gonna ask uh, my team uh, in in Prague if you guys have any questions for me or anything that you want me to slow down on or if you have um, anyone who's in the live stream who's uh, you know sharing questions please feel free to forward them to me and uh, and I'll, I'll answer your questions so let's get started so I'm gonna share my screen again and we're gonna switch over to uh, talk a little bit about thought leadership for the information age so thought leaders are informed opinion leaders and the go-to people in their field of expertise. They are trusted sources who move and inspire people with innovative ideas to turn ideas into reality and know and show how to replicate their success. So think about thought leadership for the information age. Think about this as uh, the fact that in the 21st century, we are in the information age where, you know, there is so much new ideas, so many, uh, so many new ideas and information that's being shared. And you have the ability to share information that's important to you and share it with people who are interested in learning about the things that you are passionate about. So then the question is, you know, what are your passions? What are your interests? And what kind of community would you like to build in the world um, based around your passion or based around your interests? So, you know, for me, I've, I've um, you know, spent a few years to write my books and programs uh, about this idea of hacking your education um, and harnessing your education energy. You know, these are new concepts, new ideas that never existed before. And it was just because of, of an idea that I had. And, you know, and it led me to, you know, giving a TED Talk. So then the question is, what is calling you right now? What is calling you in this world? And so I want you to just take a moment to really reflect on that for a minute and um, 
pull out a piece of paper and I want you to do a quick journal exercise to answer this question and and think about it from a standpoint of you know do you want to start a business do you want to uh, get your foot in the door of a career like are you looking for a new job or do you want to become a thought leader do you want to just become a leader in the community um, who's having a big impact in your chosen industry So take a few minutes to just reflect on this question. What is calling you right now? And pull out a piece of paper and write it down because remember, when we write things down, that's when we pull it out of our mind and pull it down onto paper into reality. And that's the first step to creating your ideas. So take a moment to just brainstorm and free write about what is calling you right now. All right, so I hope that something new came out there because you know what's really important to remember is that there's always a new opportunity for us that, that's waiting for us to seek it, for us to grab that opportunity. And it could be right in front of you right now. There could be a really great idea that's waiting for you to discover it. But in order for us to discover it, we have to change the way that we think. Sometimes we have to change the way that we see the world. Or maybe we have to just actually write down what it is that we want to create, you know? So the more that we write, the more ideas that we can pull out of our mind onto paper. And when we do that, when we write down our ideas, it's pulling them out of our mind onto paper and then we're making room for new ideas to come in. So it's so important to go through this process. Now, there's a couple more ideas um, that I wanna share with you. And there's a few, a few things happening in the world. The first thing is that there's this idea of the great transition, that we're moving from the industrial age into the information age. So there's a need for new leaders to rise up to create businesses and organizations that are sustainable, not only environmentally sustainable, sustainable, but also socially and economically sustainable. So every industry in the world, every industry in the world needs people to become leaders so that they can start to you know, share more sustainable ideas and create a more sustainable planet for our future. And again, that's not only environmental, but social and economical. So that's called a triple bottom line business, which is people, planet, and profit. You might wanna write that down. Cool, so the second thing is that you are the creator of your future. You get to decide what your future looks like. And the more that you can write about it and talk about it and dream about it, the more clear you will be and you will be able to start to take the actions to create that future. The third thing is that I want you to remember that challenges are opportunities and that failure is a tool. There's, there's so, much, so many people think that failure is a bad thing, but I want to remind you that failure is so important because it teaches us what does not work. And it shows you that you actually tried something. Maybe you took a risk and you, you, you went out and you said, hey, I'm going to try to start this business and it didn't work the first time, but you know what? I'm going to try again and see if it works the second time and the third time and the fourth time. And you know what? If you keep going, something is going to work because you're going to run out of ideas that don't work. You feel me? Number four, purpose-driven projects create real meaning and real value for the world. So I want you to really think about, you know, what, what is your purpose in this world or how can you bring more purpose into this world by creating this project that we're gonna talk about today. Every project can be a building block for innovation. So every time that you focus your ideas towards creating something, whether it be a business or an organization or just a new project for your life and for your community, it can always, there's always a next step to creating your ideas in a bigger way. Every project leads to self-discovery. Every time that we, that we start to create, it leads us down the pathway to discovering ourselves a little bit more. And then no vision left behind. You guys, do not 
put those big dreams that you have in your mind aside. I encourage you to really be bold with the way that you visualize your future and, and start to actually create what it is that you want to create. And we're gonna do that right now in the Strategy Lab. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is your vision. I want you to think about what is your vision for your future? And as we visualize your future, I want you to think about you know, what is it that you want to create that you want to be known for in the world? So what is it that people are going to know you for? You know, what, what is it that, that you want to be able to share with the world using your voice, using your mind and sharing your heart? What is it that would, that would fill you up with life and with energy? Maybe you're helping save the environment by helping people recycle. Maybe you're helping to address a real issue in your community that has to do with the law, or maybe it has to do with an organization who is in alignment with your personal vision. Really think about what is your vision of the future as we move into this next section that's all about setting goals. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about what are the goals that you want to achieve in the next three months. And I want you to pull out a piece of paper or use your goal generator template and I want you to write down what are the goals that you want to achieve in the next three months and just start writing down ideas and don't stop. So really just take time. I'm going to give you guys about three to five minutes to just write down all the goals that you want to achieve in the next three months. Got it? Go. And remember, you guys, try to dream big when you're writing these goals. You know, don't limit yourself to the things that you had, you know, thought were your goals in the past. Because sometimes what happens is we, we kind of tend to take these big goals and then put them on the shelf. And, and we just leave them there for a while and we think, oh yeah, I'll get to it eventually, I'll get to it eventually. And it just starts to collect dust. You know, I want you to really think about what are the goals that you really want to achieve in the next three months. You know, what are the things that you're actually committed to doing? So write those down and dream big. You know, one thing that I noticed is that when I'm doing these workshops, a lot of times people will actually set goals based out of, uh, you know, out of fear. And, and I think it's interesting because, or, or maybe they won't set a goal because they're scared that they can't achieve it. 
And I want to tell you guys, that is the worst reason to not set a goal. Because if you don't set it because you're scared you're not going to do it, well then you're definitely not going to do it. You know, so if this is something that's meaningful to you, if this is something that you're that you're actually interested in, in creating, then I want to really encourage you to, you know, to go for it, to write it down and to set those big goals. So now, by now you should have a, a list of, of goals written down. Um, and on the right hand side of the sheet, you'll see that it says write down a list of big picture goals for your future. And, and I hope that you have some of those as well. Um, and, and these are goals that you hope to achieve with a project and, or, or an idea that you're creating. And so I want you to think about what is, what is one project or what is one goal that you just made in this list um, that is really powerful to you, that it's something that, is, that stands out a lot and that you really want to see happen in the next three months. And you know, the reason why I would say three months is because that's a season. You know, that's a, an attainable amount of time. Um, it's longer than one month. Usually I see that most people set goals for one month at a time, and that's usually the max. Maybe they have some big one-year or five-year goals that they write, write down, but three months is, is a realistic amount of time that you can use to actually put an idea into action using this template that I'm about to show you. And um, I'm really excited to share this, this, this template um, because it's a design that we use to create strategies um, for, for any project idea. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to run you through this next template and I hope that you have taken one idea or one project that you're excited about. And what we're going to do is I'm going to run you through these different areas and um, I'm going to I'm going to move kind of quick. So I want you to, you know, either um, as we move through this, you can fill out your own sheet. Um, and uh, and if, 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 if you need to think about it, which I think you should think about it, I, I want you to take more time after this webinar to actually, you know, really focus in on, on what these areas are and, and fill out this tool because this is a template to turn your ideas into actual projects that you can implement in the next three months. Are you ready? Cool. Let's do it. All right, here we go. So we're going to go back here and I want you to go to strategy design and we're here of course in the Dropbox um, for, uh, for youth time and again you can go check on their Facebook, it's right here at the very top and you can click on the Dropbox uh, right here at the top of the International Movement Youth Time page and please like our page you guys we have a lot of really great information that we share about different organizations and, and, and different youth who are having a, a big impact in the world. And um, there's, there's always so many opportunities here. So I highly encourage you to stay connected. All right, so we're going over to the Dropbox and you're gonna click on Strategy Design. Boom! All right, so this tool is called Design for Wiser Action. And uh, what I want you to do is um, really look at this as a big picture tool. This is a tool that we can use to you know, really start to you know, brainstorm what it is that you need to do in order to bring your ideas into action to achieve your vision, which is in the upper right hand corner. So I'm actually gonna flip over to another version that I have here. And um, so here we go. This is designed for wiser action. Now, I, I took some notes in this one so that you can really see what each area is all about. And I wanna start up here in the upper left-hand corner, and it's the calling question. And it's all about what is calling me to do this project? So you may have a project in mind that you wanna take action on, and you would put the title of that project right here. Now, it may also be a, a project, or it could be one of your goals, because I want you to take one of those goals that you just wrote down and we can use this template and if you if you want um, if you don't have this printed out what you can do is you can actually just draw this on a piece of paper and um, and fill it out on your own so what is the title of your project or goal so right there. Let's see here. okay so 
So let's say that um, for an example, let's say that your, your, your goal that you wanted to achieve was say that you wanted to come to the youth time uh, summer school that we're doing this year in Beijing uh, in August, which is going to be absolutely epic. And I really hope you guys can come because um, in, in August, we're going to do the uh, summer school in Beijing. And I mean, it's going to be my first time going to China. I'm really excited and um, we're going to have a really good group. Um, of, of people to join us. So definitely would love to see you there. Um, so let's say that my goal is to go to Beijing for the youth time summer school. Um, my vision would be to uh, go to Beijing and meet other young leaders who are doing really amazing work in the world. So you may write that down here in your vision um, and the values. What are the values of the project? So values would be you know travel, uh, values for me would be um, international uh, diplomacy or international uh, collaboration. So you have your vision up here in the upper right hand corner. Now keep in mind there's no first or last place to fill this out. There's no right or wrong way to fill this out. You just start filling it out and you can move any direction. So like let's say that I wanted to go from here and, um, and then I wanted to hop back over here to the purpose. So what is the purpose of this project? The purpose of this project is to go to, you know, travel to Beijing and actually become more of a international youth uh, dip diplomat and uh, uh, representative of, you know, myself as a youth leader. So that could be one purpose. Um, the need. What is the problem that I am solving with this project and for whom? Why is this project important? So think about that for your project. You know, why is this project important? It could be, you know, important for you as an individual, or it could be a problem that you're solving for a, for a community, for a real group of people that, that need a solution. So if you have a business idea that you want to bring to life this summer, you can actually solve a real need or a real problem in the community for a group of people and write about that right there. So let's look at challenges. Challenges, what are the challenges or problems that I see and what is stopping me from taking action? It's important to note these things because this is going to help you get really clear on what it is that you need help with, right? Because that's the next section. What do I need help with? Or what can I not do alone? And it's important to know that because it's, it's, it's remember you guys, it's so good to ask for help. You can always ask for help because there's somebody out there that knows the knowledge that you don't know and they're willing to be a part of your team. Maybe they can be a mentor. Maybe they even want to become a part of your core team. So if we look up here, you can see core team. Who is going to help you on this project? And your core team, these usually tend to be people that are, you know, uh, actually uh, like working with you side by side. These are the people that you can really rely on, people that you can call at, you know, midnight or, you know, late in the evening and, and, and say, hey, I need your help with this, you know. Um, and that's your core team. And it's, it's good to have a team. However, if it's just you, that's okay as well. Um, so then there's also partners. Now partners are organizations or people that will support you. So um, for instance, you know, with this webinar, uh, Youth Time is a partner and my organization is a partner to Youth Time. So we're able to team up to add value to each other's organizations and you know, really support each other. Now there's also stakeholders. Stakeholders are the people that invest time, energy, and resources into your ideas. So uh, traditionally in business, a stakeholder is someone who has an invested interest financially in your business. So that means that um, you know they've invested, you know, someone invested ten thousand euros into your idea, and they own you know five percent of your company or something like that. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Uh, just with money. It could be someone who is, you know, invested into your idea and, and, and they're also gaining something out of your uh, collaboration with them. And so try to be really creative with these three areas and think about how can you build a community of practice 
around your idea and around your vision so that you know all these people are working together to start to bring this project to life. <clears throat> So now I want to move up here actually to the what. What is the project about? So think about writing this section and when you write about this section, imagine you're writing a, a Facebook post. You know, it's, and it could be something exciting. It could be, you know, like in 2016, there's a major need for, you know, people to, to rise up and youth leaders to come together from around the world to you know, address real issues that are important to them um, in sustainability. You know, that can be the what. And, and so we're, we're coming together from around the world to join forces and, and have a real world impact in Beijing in 2016 in August. You know, that if, if, if we were to you know, be talking about this project, um, about you know, going to youth time summer school, you know, that's, the, that's the what. Then the how. How will I make this project happen? So this is more of a to-do list. So this is what do I need to do? And now, you may think about who are the people that you need to connect with? Who are the mentors that you need help with that can help you? Um, what are the actions that you need to take? What are some of the goals that are based around this project? And think about a timeline. Think about you know what are the what are the um, action items that need to happen in order to you know maybe you have to you have to apply. So if you want to go to the youth time um, youth time forum or to the youth time uh, summer school, you have to apply online. And then when? What is the timeline of action? And so I want you to think about how you can make this list and then actually attach each one of these to-dos to a date that will lead you closer to your vision. <clears throat> How's everyone doing? <laughs> Are you following along with this? I hope, I hope that uh, this is serving you because you know this tool is something that I use every time that I need to take a project and, and put it into action. And it's a good way for you to really just get clear on what it is that, that you need to do and you know who's gonna be involved. And that's why I really like this uh, strategy design template because it's, it's really about building that community of people that also are interested in, in what you do and are, are passionate about the same things. Whoa, what happened? Oh, there we go. There we go. Sorry, I got another window open here, you guys. Okay, so. All right, so what I just realized is that I've got two screens open here. So um, <laughs> I hope you guys can see the design for Wiser Action template. So I'm gonna go back over to here and open up design for Wiser Action. All right, so let's finish this template. So the next, the next uh, window that I want you to look into is um, the tangible and intangible goals and this is they call it the harvest and basically here we talk about you know what are the visible goals that you are setting in the tangible area so the the visible goals are you know going to beijing or the visual the visible goals would be that you are um meeting uh maybe maybe you are getting your passport or um let's say that you're actually you know that you have a business idea that you're creating you know, you want to, the tangible goals are um, get your business registered, create a Facebook page, um, make a video about your, your business idea, or maybe you're making a Kickstarter. Then the intangible goals. These are things that are invisible. So these are like the relationships that you will create by being a part of um, this event or um, the, the network that you'll tap into. Um, it can also be the new ideas that you'll, that you'll have or the new opportunities that are going to happen because you take action on your idea. Um, or if you're building a business, the, the intangible goals um, would be uh, developing a list of, of potential clients um, uh, or, or uh, developing uh, new relationships or new partnerships. So those are some of the intangible goals. 
Now, I want, I want to move down here and um, wrap up with uh, insights. So insights are new ideas that you will gain from doing this whole project template. So you'll be actually, you know, starting to have new epiphanies or new ideas. And this is an area where you can actually write down those things. Unanswered questions. This is where you collect those things where um, you, you know, you say, uh, what do I need to learn or research? You know, so what are the things that you need to expand your understanding about? And then next steps. What are the next steps that you need to take to make this project happen? So after this webinar is over, I think it's important that you go through this template. And I think what you should do right now if you're on your computer is to take a screenshot of this template right now. And you can, you can actually um, take, a, take an image of it, take a screenshot, and um, I'll, post it, I'll post it up as well. Um, so that you can have access to that. And, um, but I think it, it's a good, good thing to have these different questions that are um, in the template that you can use um, that, to help you guide uh, the development of your idea using the design template. Great. So I really hope that uh, this project has served you guys. And I, I, I really am excited to share it with you because Honestly, um, I know that each one of us has something that's calling us to take action. And, you know, it's springtime right now, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. And, I mean, it is so gorgeous here right now. And I was, I was riding my bike um, to the office today, and I, and I was thinking, you know, this is the perfect time to take action on a new idea. Because, and this is the perfect time to be hosting this webinar because it's, it's spring and, and, and there's this new energy, this new life that's being born in the world. And I really hope that you can harness that energy that, that's happening in the world and, and make the, de the decision to take action on your idea. Because sometimes that's the biggest thing that we need to do is to just make the decision in our heart and in our mind to, to, to start. You know, just start. It doesn't have to be anything really big. It doesn't have to be something that's, that's so far out. Like you don't have to quit your job in order to start this project. You can actually, you know, take small steps to begin putting your ideas into action. And that's what I really encourage is, is to take those small steps that are necessary um, because what happens is it, it's, it's a rite of passage. It's a process of transformation that we go through in order to bring our ideas to fruition. It's not something that, you know, we can just make happen overnight. You know, it's something that really takes time. And so I encourage you to be bold and, and start to dream big about what it is that you want for your future. But, but think about it from a standpoint of the now. Like, what are the things that you would have to do right now in order to start making that future vision happen? And I think that one of the most important things to do is to write it down and to get really clear on it. And sometimes it feels weird when you're writing it down. You think, oh, I'm writing this stuff down that, and, and I might fail. You know, I might fail if, if I, you know, you might write it down and think, what if it doesn't happen? But honestly, you guys, go for it. Just, just write it down because what happens is as you write it out and you get more clear, you think, hmm, that's interesting. I never thought about it that way before until I actually thought about it and wrote it down. And then maybe you go onto Google and you search something new on Google that you had never searched before. And then all of a sudden it leads you to a new opportunity that you had never seen because you just took action and you just started. You made that, that small leap. And that small leap, that small change of direction can lead to a totally different destination. And that's what we talk about in Hawaii with the navigators. The Hawaiians, the Hawaiians were excellent navigators, and they would they would go to the, the most northern the most northernly pointing rock on the island that would point north, and they would say, "Okay, in order for us to get to our destination, you need to go that way." And they knew that if they missed just a little bit, just a, cha a slight change in trajectory, you would end at a completely different location huge. So getting really clear 
writing down your goals and, and really visualizing where it is that you want to go. And being so bold as to say, you know what, I'm going to go for it. And if I fail, that's okay because I'm going to keep trying. And you know, I want to wrap up this webinar today with a quote um, from a very legendary basketball player, Michael Jordan. And I love this quote so much. He says, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life. And that's why I succeed. Friends, family, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today on this webinar. This was the first webinar that we did and I, and I appreciate you, you know, um, joining me for this one and I look forward to the next one because I have so many different ideas that I wanna share with you guys and different strategies to take your ideas into action this is only the first one. And so I really encourage you to reach out to me if you have any questions for me. Um, you can uh, email me at jonathan at educationenergy.net. Um, you can also check out my book, uh, Hack Your Education. I have it up um, on my website for free right now. You can download it. It's, uh, it's called Hack Your Education and my website is educationenergy.net. Um, and I really encourage you guys to check out Youth Time because Youth Time is an amazing organization who is doing so much good work in this world and it is indeed an international movement. And this of course is my card because I am a Youth Time ambassador um, and uh, it's so awesome to be a part of this team. We have a, a really powerful and, and inspirational group of young leaders from around the world who come together and um, you know, really brainstorm about how can we have a big impact in the world um, as, as youth leaders. And that's what we really need right now, you guys. We need the youth to rise up, to become leaders, and to start creating the new economy, start creating a, a sustainable world. And, and I wanna help you guys. So if, if you are interested in, in teaming up with Youth Time or have any questions for me, please reach out because we're here to support you and that's, that's our job, that's our goal. And um, the last thing I want to do is I want to just uh, real quick um, show you guys let's see, the Youth Time, Youth Time website. And um, this website is so uh, rich with powerful and, 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 and important information that I think will really speak to you because, of course, Youth Time has a magazine. It's distributed all over the world. Um, I think more than 300,000 copies are distributed. Um, and, and I mean, it's, it's such a, a great resource for someone that wants to become a, a youth leader. And so um, I just want to show you this real quick um, because coming up here pretty soon, we have the summer school. Now, when you think of summer school, I used to think of summer school as being like, you know, this thing where it's like, oh, mom, do I have to go to summer school? But this is totally different than what you think summer school is all about. Um, this is the... Uh, international school of, of, of young entrepreneurial and innovative thinkers who come together um, and you know, we're going to be coming together from August 15th to the 20th in Beijing and this event is going to be so cool. The event will bring together about 50 ambitious young and motivated people from different countries from across the world who will receive professional trainings and are under supervision of experts including myself. Uh, to take part in workshops and master classes and I will be personally teaching uh, one of those master classes at least one of them and um, you guys it is so much fun like these young people look at this group of people I mean they all look like you know normal young leaders um, between the ages of uh, like 18 to 30 but honestly you guys <laughs> this right here this is what it's all about um, we have so much fun at youth time. Every time I meet up with these guys, I mean, it's, it's, it's such a blast. I mean, we go on adventures, we get to have fun, we get to go on adventures. You know, it's, 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 it's such a good group of people to be a part of and it's great to be um, you know, involved with, with young people who like to have fun, but also like to have a great impact. And so I hope you'll join us this year and um, I hope that you'll tune into our next webinar 
and uh, I'll let you guys know as soon as that's going to happen. And until next time, thank you so much. Um, thank you to Youth Time for making it possible. And uh, until next time, as we say in Hawaii, aloha.